Hey, what's up, everybody? Ziggas here with another uh, Diablo 2 video. Since Ladder is about to launch tomorrow, I just wanted to impart some wisdom to help everybody get to hell a whole hell of a lot quicker. What we're going to do here is just a quick level guide to help you really maximize your time. Um, so by the end of the weekend, you can potentially be in hell leveling. Um, I know there's going to be a lot of people at first running in groups and stuff like that so there may not be as many public games so what i want to do is like i said give you tools you need to be where you need to level and to be able to do it quickly and not waste a bunch of time so the first thing you're going to do of course you need to save kane and you're going to go to stony field and you're going to run tristam for anybody not familiar with it you're going to find the road and that's pretty much always going to help you find the portal. Almost always. Now, of course, you're going to do Tristam from as soon as you can get there, which probably honestly be around like 6, 7, maybe 9. You're going to run this from level 1 to 15. You could, you could cut out at 14, but 15 is where it really stops giving you anything. Now the next part is going into Act 2, you know, around level 14, 15. It'll uh, get you most of the way there. And then once you get to Tombs, all you're going to do is Tomb Runs. And sorry, however you want, I normally go left side. You can see it's pretty much straight across from the waypoint. Easy way to find it. So you're going to run Tombs from... It gets good around level 20. You can run that from 20 to 24. Now, a lot of people will say to do cows at 20, but starting the ladder, who's going to be doing cows? You know? So, tombs is much more realistic. It's much easier. And the key point here if you have at least a party of three, including yourself, two full tomb runs will take you from 20. 24. As you can see, there's seven tombs. I know most people know that, but for the sake of anybody who doesn't or doesn't do tomb runs, so you know. Now, as far as Act 3, since you can no longer just jump to the end, unless you have a bumper, basically, which a bumper is someone who's already there but hasn't completed the quest. You're going to have to do these other ones. So you're going to get some XP through here. Um, ideally, if at the beginning of the ladder we're going to be pushing through, it's going to be hard on everybody. So you're going to want to be between 25 and 30. Which, by the time you get to Act 4, you're probably already going to be close to 30. And that will be a good level to do Diablo with. Now... If somehow you're able to skip a lot of this and you catch a ride, you'll be able to go to Ancient's Way and do the Ancients at at least 24, and that'll bump you to 25. And that is when you're going to start getting some decent experience from Bell. Now, here's the thing where a lot of people differ. I get to Bell around 25 to 30, and I will stay at Bell until 45. So that way, when you hit Nightmare, you're already level 45. You've got uh, several points into your level 30 skills, or 24 if you're going to go Blizzard, or Hammers, I think is 18. Whatever build you're going to run, 45 will give you a bunch of points to where you're going to come into Nightmare pretty strong. And basically, you just need the levels that you're going to get on your way to Bell. Now, once you are in Nightmare, you can stay there until 60, 63, 65. And that, my friends, is going to set you up great to go into Hell. Now, once you hit around 60, it is going to slow down a little bit. And you're not going to be able to do level as fast, obviously. And just FYI, in case people don't know, 
three people in a bell game is your max experience you're gonna get. So running more people, although early ladder, will be a good thing because you're gonna have the extra firepower. We're not gonna have good gear, things like that. So it might be to your advantage to run the extra people. And it might not. It just depends on what you have going on. So that, my friends, is a short guide on how you can really get ahead and ladder and be able to level up quickly. Uh, I hope this helps you guys. So just to sum it back up, you're going to do Tristam from however soon you can get there to level 15. Make your way through Act 2 until you can get to Tombs. And you'll be effective around level 20. And you can do that from 20 to 24. Maybe even 25. I normally go to 24, but you might want to go to 25, being you're going to have to actually go through Act 3. And then you're just going to make your way until Bell. And at that point, like I said, you're going to level from at the very earliest 25, because you really don't get good XP. You can suffer through 24 to get to 25 here, but it's not a lot of fun. But it is doable. So, Bell. 25 to 45 and then once you're 45 you just make your way through nightmare to get the bell again and then that's going to be from 60 i personally prefer 65 that way i have a really good level going into hell be sure to go back complete your your skill quest also um lamb essence tune which is fourth quest of act three um Sewers, Den, um, Ijwald, and Act 4 for your plus 2 on the skills. And that's basically it, guys. So, good luck out there. I hope everybody has fun with the start of Ladder. And see you guys out there.